Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Lost Ark. So first of all, we're going to look at Windows. Make sure that all your parameters are uh, optimized for the game. And after that, we will go inside of the game. This game uh, is running for the past two or even three years, I think. It was, uh, first of all, released in Korea. After that, they opened some servers in Russia. And now we can play it in uh, North America. So first of all, let's write game mode. So game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at on. If you have the latest version of Windows 10 or even 11, go for it. It's now good. Last year, I was not a, big, a fan of game mode because sometimes it was better. Sometimes it was worse for some game. But now it normally with or without it will be like the same thing or it will be better so really important i did a couple of tests in this game on my laptop uh, i have a gtx 1050 with a nice 7 and i'm getting a nice four person boost with the game mode so uh this definitely can help you uh the xbox game bar make sure that this one is at off it's tanking a lot, like it's causing a lot of stuttering with this game. So make sure that it's that off. And also if you're using others, uh, other overlay, like uh, the Discord overlay or AMD, NVIDIA, make sure that you don't use that, just disable them. After that, for the capture background recording, make sure that this one is at off and recorded audio, make sure also this one is at off. If you have um, an NVIDIA card series 1000 or more recent, uh, write graphics setting in your search and make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling will be at on. So you have to check, you need to restart to make sure it's applied. It will help you if you have something like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060, um, can help with the bottlenecks and you can expect a nice like two to five percent boost in your FPS. If you have something more powerful than that, you will not see the difference. I also recommend to make sure that you update your drivers, so AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you're playing with an integrated uh, video card on your CPU, make sure that you're going on their website, uh, update your driver. It will help a lot, like big games like that, Lost Ark or whatever, like the new Call of Duty. Always make sure that you have the latest driver. It can help you like 5, 10, sometimes even 20% in your FPS. So make sure you update your driver. Also, I have another, uh, I have two different guides, one for a GPU and one for your CPU that you can find in my YouTube uh, videos. Uh, I'm, I, I just show you like how to overclock safely your GPU and your CPU. And honestly, sometimes it can help like 8 to 10% in your FPS. So when you overclock both, really depend on your hardware, what kind of hardware that you have, your thermals, etc, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But still, look at this if you want to uh, maximize the power of your computer. Another thing that I recommend, write energy. Look at your power option here. Um, right now I'm using balance. So normally if, if you're using a desktop PC, you will be at balance here or sometimes high performance. But with some laptops, um, when you plug in the wall, it stays at power saver or eco mode, depending on the, the brand that you're using. This is not good because sometimes it, you will not use the maximum uh, power of your computer, so you're gonna make you need to, to make sure that you're using the balance one or the high performance one. Finally, one more thing: uh, where you install your game. So in my case, it was in my F drive, in the in the Steam folder. So Steam, Steam app, comment, Lost Art Beta, binaries, Window, but Win sixty four. Go to your exe file, so your .exe. Um, it's called Lost Ark. You will see it's 39 meg. Right click on it. Go to properties. Go to compatibility. Make sure that you check the disable full screen optimization. It will help you a lot with the, the stabilization of your FPS. It, and this is not like the, the purpose of this, but in this game, it will help. And the IDPI scale override, make sure that you click this one, press OK, press OK, and now you should be fine. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, let's go to this video section. So the first of all, the texture quality. This one, it really depends on the amount of VRAM that you have on your video card. If you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, go with very high, 3 gig high. 2 gig medium and less than 2 gig go with low. 
After that, the shadow quality, this one will give you a lot of FPS. So if I compare very high to low, you can expect a nice 12% boost. But at low, the game looks very flat. So I really recommend to go with something like medium. Um, your game will look okay. Like you will have a decent amount of shadow. And you will have a nice boost, like something like 8 to 9%. After that, for the... Uh, qu uh, character sorry quality very high to high you can expect two to three percent high to medium another two to three percent and medium to low i saw a difference of one percent so that's why i'm recommending to uh play at um medium so it's a good balance between image quality and uh fps after that, the particle quality. Uh, this one I recommend to go with low. If you compare very high to low, you can expect a nice eight to ten, per, eight to ten percent, sorry, of uh, uh, FPS boost. But it's more to stabilize your FPS when you're fighting and stuff. You will see in this game sometimes you can get a lot of like drop FPS. So this one will help you a lot with this. For the anti-aliasing, I'm not a huge fan of anti-aliasing in this game, the eye, uh, the eye setting or even low. I feel like the game is a little blurry, so I just remove the anti-aliasing. The game is more clear, I'm getting more FPS. If you don't like aliasing in your game, like ac uh, across object and stuff like that, go with low. It will help a little bit. I recommend also to uncheck the be uh, better depth of field and the indirect shadow also. This one can uh, give you like a 2-3% to 3 to 3 boost in your FPS. So uncheck both. The last parameter that you have is the post-processing that you can uh, change. Uh, by default, normally they will be checked, the fourth of them. Just uncheck everything. The first three, bloom effect, distortion effect. And uh, the flare effect will give you like a nice 4 to 5% boost in your FPS. And the last one, motion blur, uh, you will not have any improvement with this one. But motion blur in any game, it's not really good. Like uh, if you want like image qu qu uh, clarity. So that's why I uncheck the motion blur. The last parameter is your odd size adjustment. Just go with 100%. It doesn't affect your FPS. So depending if you feel like your odd is a little bit too small go at 105 or 110 so this is pretty much it guys if you have any question about uh, this game and this guide just come in in youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace